Hey, it's Matt Gore with Lights and Cameras, and I just came off a two-day shoot, and we had something happen on the set uh, that I wanted to bring you a tip uh, for when you're out shooting that might be of help. Uh, we had a light stand, one of the grip arms uh, on a light stand, come really close and bump against the lens of the camera, and at first it really scared me, but it really, really made me glad about a tip that somebody had taught us a long time ago, and that is to always have a clear, just a clear filter screwed on the front of your lens uh, no matter what you put else in front of the lens. Uh, when you first buy a camera, get a nice clear, just a clear glass filter and spin on the front of that lens because that clear filter only costs, you know, 10 to $15. But if you actually scratch or damage your real camera lens, uh, it can literally cost more than your camera costs to actually get it replaced, especially with some of the consumer and prosumer cameras where the lens might not be able to be replaced at all. So on this camera, this is a Sony Z1. Uh, you simply just remove the lens hood, and we've got a clear glass filter that you can get in most any photographic shop, uh, b &H photo carriers, or most anybody that sells cameras will sell these clear just clear glass filters. And of course, this matches the millimeter size of our camera lens. And you simply just take this and screw it on the front of your lens. And then your lens hood will go back on like normal. And most all of these filters will allow you to put other filters on top of them or, or in front of them. So it doesn't keep you from doing that. And this literally will, will protect your lens from any scratching or damage that may occur out in the field. So you might have to replace this lens more often or this, uh, this filter because it may get scratched. But again, much, much better to scratch this piece of glass than your actual lens glass. So when you get a new camera or with the camera that you've got at home, make sure to go out to your local photographic store or look online somewhere and get a clear glass filter that is the same millimeter size as your lens and put it right on your camera so that you protect that very valuable investment of the lens on your camera. Check back here with us often right here on Lights and Camera and remember, just because it's video on the web, it doesn't have to suck.